hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to add uh, header and footer images in all the pages of the pdf document inside the php using the fpdf uh, open source pdf generation library so this is the demo of what we will be building in this tutorial you will see that guys we have multiple pages five pages in the pdf document and inside this the header and the footer images are automatically are being added here so we don't need to do anything so we just need to write our unique content and automatically you just need to provide the header and the footer images and it will automatically add it at the appropriate place with all the margins that you are applying here so i will try to show you in this tutorial guys how to do this process automatically so let's start building this application for this tutorial guys i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website coding siksha so here you can the link will be there inside video description so you can just go to it and download all the source code so let's get started by building this application so first of all you need to be having some things installed on your pc so first of all just download fpdf this is the open source php uh, pdf generation library so just go to its official website and go to the downloads tab and simply download the latest version of fpdf simply click the zip file and extract the content in the root directory wherever you are building the project and also guys you need to be installing uh, exam control panel this is a apache server for running php inside your pc so i have already installed it and you need to run it on local host 80 port number simply start it so now guys uh, inside this we have our root file which will be the library file fpdf.php so wherever you are building it simply extract it and simply copy that file in the root directory so first of all what we need to do is that so when we start this application so we need to require the library by using require once fpdf.php put a semicolon after this guys you will see that uh, now we need to we will be seeing simply how to add a simple header image new fpdf you can initialize it to the parent library and there is a method out there which allows you to add an empty page which is add page after that now we will be adding the image which will be using uh, image method so here you need to provide the path of the image guys so we have stored two images which is the header image and this is the footer image so in this example i will be showing you how to add a simple image to the pdf document so we will take this example header.png and then the x and the y coordinate which is 0 comma 0 so this will be starting from the top left position on the screen so now in order to show the pdf document on the browser we can use the output method that's it output method put a semicolon so now inside these five lines of code guys if i try to open this localhost fpdf slash con convert pdf dot php so now you will see one page is there inside the pdf document and this header image is successfully added so now we can play with the coordinates guys so if you want to move it from the left position you can give 30 if i refresh it you will see now this will be moving through the left position which is 30 and if you want to move it from the top position you can give 40 so this will be moving from the y direction so if i refresh it you will see that and the next now concept guys so now if i want to add a hyperlink to this image if i want to click it and wants to go to somewhere else on the internet i can also do it something like this so first of all we can also control the width of the image so let's suppose i want to control the width of uh, i need to re reduce the width to 100 and height to 45 so now this will change the width and the height of the image guys also like this so now this is looking pretty good so now we need to add the hyperlink this is quite easy the next parameter which is image type so this is a png image so you will just write here dot png 
in capital letters if you are adding a jpeg image you will write here jpg after this guys you will write your hyperlink which is the address of the website to which you need to link to so i will link to my own website which is codingsiksha.com you can give here any image of your choice so if i refresh it now if i hover onto this image you will see it will change to the sign here clickable sign so if i click this image i will be redirected to my coding siksha website so this is quite easy guys so simply you just need to provide the image hyperlink so whatever image you need to hyperlink the image address something like this so now the third concept guys which is simply to add the header and the footer images automatically whenever you are adding multiple pages so for this we will write a complete example here again we need to require the root library for this so we will again use require once fpdf.php so it is very much mandatory guys in php that uh, at each every at the end of every line you put the semicolon because if you don't put the semicolon then it will give you error and now in this case guys we will make a separate separate class here child class which will extend uh, the functionality from the library parent class which is fpdf so inside these we will have two methods first we will be adding the header and the second we will be adding the footer something like this so the first method will add the header image so this is quite easy we will use the this keyword and then we will be using the image method so we will provide the location here which is header.png and then the x and the y coordinate which is 0 comma 0 and in the case of footer guys we just need to move it slightly bottom wise so we will now need to set the y coordinate in minus 20 you can play with the positioning and then we can add the image which is the footer image like this footer.png footer semicolon so now we can instantiate a new instance of this class we can declare a object we can simply call new pdf and uh, now we can set some options here which is first of all we can set the margin for the pdf document by using set margins which is x margin y margin and the z margin and then we can set the allies nb pages so just set this for formatting purposes and then guys we will add our uh, first page which is empty page add page like this and now in order to set the font guys it is not mandatory but i will be showing you that how to set the font so here you can give the any valid font here i will be giving times new roman put a second argument will be empty and the third will be the size of the font this can be any legal numeric value but i will be giving 12 and then we will be adding the dynamic data guys for this we will be using a for loop dollar i1 and this goes until 40 dollar i plus plus so in each iteration guys what we need to do is that we will be using the method which will be called as a cell so this will be adding a new list item the x and the y coordinate will be 0 comma 10 and the actual content will be we will be printing that this is line number and then we will be concatenating with the actual line number in the loop 0 comma 1 that's it this is the width and the height of the line and then guys we will simply after this we will simply show it to the user pdf dot output that's it this is all that we need to do guys so and now if i open this inside my browser you will see it is saying syntax error unexpected on line 8 on line 8 now guys you can see i have missed a semicolon so that's why it is creating this problem on line 7 so simply put the semicolon at at the end of each line so 
to avoid any sort of error so it is saying that syntax error uh, line 26 uh, let me see line 26 oh sorry this needs to be dollar dollar i so again refresh it now guys you will see that automatically this has added the images at the right spot you can just play with the position here the width and the height you will see this is the first page this is the second page and let me fix this positioning purposes for the footer image I can increase it to uh, minus 30 let's suppose so if I now refresh it you will see that this is our footer image is quite good we can now change it to 25 you can see that now it is looking good similarly for the header image you can put a height sorry width and height so you can put 200 uh, 60 something to this value you will see that now I think 225 will be quite good now you can see that this is our header this is our footer it is looking quite good so depending upon upon your own image guys you can just manipulate these uh, x and the y coordinate or width and height I have shown you the way and uh, once again you can also change it to this 100, 100 value so now the pages will increase because the number of iterations will increase so if I now refresh it this pages will now increase to 5 pages so this is the first page this is the second page and this is the third page this is the fourth page this is the fifth page so you can just see guys how precisely the images are looking here and uh, the formatting looks quite good so I think this FPDF library is quite good in comparison to other libraries so in this you just don't need to do any fancy work for adding the images at the right spot inside header and the footer positions it will be doing this automatically for you for getting this source code guys you can go to the video description link to download all the source code please hit the like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much